Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the online class. Um, today's topic for the day, um, poem, which is titled Beauty. Okay. So before going into detail of this poem, Beauty, uh, we will discuss about the right, the poet. Okay. The poet of this particular poem is Ihe Shio. Okay. So she was a writer poet and educator she was born on 9th september 1926 in new mexico she died on 21st july 2014 at the age of 87 she has written her first book named i am a pablo indian girl at the age of 13 this book explains the life and culture of pablo community she also appeared in the short films so without any further delay, let's move to the poem, Beauty, okay? So let's focus on the title, Beauty. What do you understand uh, by the term beauty? What do you understand? When we heard uh, about the title, about the word, uh, short word, uh, with the sixth letter it just describe about the personality the physical appearance isn't it the complexion of a person right so um but it is also about the inner and outer beauty of a person okay uh, that makes us look uh, and feel confident which makes us happy inside and out okay but beauty which uh, lies in persons, thinking, eyes, etc. Okay. It means beauty is not very different or specific. It is someone's perceptions that may uh, vary from person to person. Isn't it? For example, I will tell you that the things which appear beautiful for you uh, in your eyes uh, may not be uh, beautiful for me. Similarly, what I will feel beautiful in my eyes from my perception it can't be beautiful for you also right yep it is so beauty uh, which is defined in uh, two ways that is about inner and outer beauty right and uh, outer beauty which means physical appearance our physique etc but our inner beauty is something which is abstract means which can be free okay um it tells about person's behavior attitude well i must say it can't be seen by us but it can be felt and sensed right so uh but beside this um there is another beauty which uh, the poet in this poem is talking about okay so for the uh, means the uh, poet he show uh, she has told about the beauty of which besides which lies in the nature in the environment the natural beauty the beauty of nature okay so here in the poem uh, she talks about two beauty first a beauty of nature uh, which she uh, tells in the line of poem okay she conveyed with the lines of the poem and second the inner beauty of humans which uh, we possess inside us okay so now uh, let's move to the poem lines and we'll discuss that and later uh, we'll means i will discuss stanza wise and uh, then we'll see the summary of this poem okay tomorrow but now let's see let's move to the poem lines beauty which is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds corn growing and people working and dancing for their harvest what happened our uh, beauty which is fine everywhere it's not about the person's physical appearance or the physique or inner and outer beauty it's not about that only it's about the natural beauty which lies in nature Whenever uh, means uh, whenever we uh, woke up in the morning, we see when we come out of our room, we just see how uh, birds are chipping, how everyone is enjoying, even the animals are enjoying the sunrise, enjoying the day when it starts, right? 
so it's all about the beauty uh with what we can hear also what we can see and what is found around us okay it may be uh something which is arranged by us or it may be something which is like uh, uh, done by the nature okay so beauty we can see in the sunlight the beauty which is finally uh, explained uh, means when it is like winter time okay so in winter time uh, you must like the warmth of the sunlight right so whenever uh, it means uh, whenever morning happens in winter time we love that uh, sunshine we love that warmth of the sunlight that is also a beauty okay when it gives to us when it felt by us the warmth of that sun okay so it just give an immense pleasure to us and it gives so much relax and quite excited for the day isn't it yeah so uh, in the beauty is in the sunlight beauty is in lies in our environment beauty lies everywhere the trees the birds corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest you know uh, when uh, means it is very important for the farmer when uh, they are growing their crops uh, and they enjoy that they celebrate some kinds of festival just because of that crops so when it get ready people enjoy that happiness with their crops when they are ready they harvest it and they just enjoy that so beauty which lies in sunlight which lies in trees which lies in birds animals human um, corn growing and people who are working or dancing for their harvest it always i mean um, it can be seen in sunlight it can be seen everywhere okay now let's move to the second stanza of this poem beauty is heard in the night wind sighing rain falling or a singer chanting in earnest what does it mean it means that beauty is a thing that to be felt yeah beauty uh, which is to be felt it sometimes it may not be visible to us sometime uh, it is like uh, we can only feel to it whenever in night uh, in uh, winter night or in summer night okay uh, when it happens we feel in uh, i'll tell you the summer night okay the summer night is quite soothing for us okay and it just gives a uh, uh, quite calm when there is um, when uh, in the morning that was a high temperature then we feel quite good in our night time it gives us uh, quite a relaxation to us that is also a beauty okay when night falls it just uh, feel calm and quiet and it gives us uh, um, in night time uh, the temperature gets low and we enjoy that night in summer okay and uh, we can also hear the sound uh, of uh, the birds uh, which are returning back to their place their nest uh, the animals who are like uh, um, so collecting their babies and all they're just going to their homes uh, whether they are um, in den or they are stable or their um, so home kennels and all right so these are all the things which happens around us in our environment and the beautiful things is happening just naturally so these are the natural beauties which is like which can be felt it can be heard means it one can listen to it like one can hear its sound when the night falls when the wind blows and creates a sound when it rains on the earth when a singer sings a melodious song one can even feel it in sincere and honest convictions of a person right so when the um, when in night the rain falls it it is like quite uh, soothing to hear it it gives a beautiful smell also when um, it rains for the first time the smell what comes from the earth it just gives a very uh, good and pleasure um, um, it gives very pleasant thing to us right or a singer when it sings a song a melodious song when it sings it just give a immense um what we can say a relaxation to us so there we can also find beauty okay so in these two stanza 
beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds the corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest beauty is heard in the night when shining rain falling or a singer chanting and anything in earnest it in these two paragraph in this two stanzas we can see how uh, the poet beautifully describes about the uh, things what happens around us what happens in in the environment what happens naturally which is equally beauty equally beautiful for us it's a very great great uh, bl um, blessings to us to have this kinds of nature okay and now we'll see the last stanza of this poem in that how the poet describes about the persons the humans in a beauty okay which is felt by us which can't be seen by our naked eyes okay beauty is in yourself good deeds happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams in your work and even your rest yeah uh, beauty which uh, is described which is um, in ours it likes about a good deeds the noble things what we do the happy thoughts not the negative one the happy thoughts which uh, uh, which can be uh, means uh, worthful for others which can uh, means uh, which can't be harmful for others where the people who are like uh, you know we say bahut acche hote hain right so how we can say that when we feel their soul when we start um, in spending time with them we just know how they uh, work how they behave how they deal with the people how what are their deeds uh, what they do these all the things just describe their inner beauty and we come to know by feeling that beauty is not always external or visible it is within and it can be um, in so invisible also one views good acts one wishes which one even imagines in dreams beauty can be one way of work or even the style of taking rest and uh, beauty is very vast and it can not be uh, confined to one thing rather it is there in everything yes beauty just needs eye and a heart to see it yep beauty can only be seen uh, when um, or uh, seen or uh, when we have a good heart it just not uh, we are uh, we are just um, doing something bad for others and uh, they we will not able to feel others beauty also we'll just say they are just uh, what we say they are just uh, trying to uh, convince manipulate people but whenever we have a good heart we can feel the beauty in all uh, in everyone it is very uh, beautiful to say that when you are good we can find good in everyone when you are bad we cannot find good in everyone we will also feel that uh, everyone is bad so it is the it starts from us it start from ourselves that how we behave how we do works how we um, means what our deeds uh, how we think about others it just depend on ours so when we think good about people others people not only for us it just tells our inner beauty that is just about um, means um, inner beauty so um, means uh, uh, this is all about the poem how uh, the poet describes about the beauty of the uh, nature the beauty of uh, the people which lies inside us uh, everything around us uh, beauty is in everything all the small things we do or the environment around us everything has beauty uh, in it everything has its own importance all things are beautiful in their own unique way some ones just uh, do some novel works and something which is related to a uh, means natural things like uh, growing crops people work and dance for that okay so this is all about the poem and hope you have understood the poem with this uh, uh, stanza wise this um, this what i had done and i had described discussed that so please uh, read the poem lines and find out the word meaning which are hard for you which are unable to understood 
okay so please uh, read the poem again and again and memorize the lines of the poem and who don't have the book please just take the screenshot of the poem lines and study that okay so have a nice day to all and read the poem again okay